Hello everybody and welcome to Fortune Admissions video blog. My name is Caroline Diate Edwards. I am a director at Fortune Admissions and I was previously admissions director at INSEAD. And I'm joined today by my colleague Sharon Joyce. So Sharon was associate director at the Berkeley Haas School of Business. And so we wanted to talk, um, Sharon, about LinkedIn profiles. Um, so first of all, why is it important for an MBA candidate to think about their, 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 their LinkedIn profile when they're starting to think about applying to business school? Sure, Caroline. Well, I think out of all of the different social media outlets that potential uh, business school students are using, between Facebook and um, Snapchat and Instagram, LinkedIn is the most professional of all of them. And I think it's really important to make sure that your LinkedIn profile is up to date put your best foot forward and is also aligned with the information that you are submitting in your B-School applications because we know admissions committees are reviewing your LinkedIn profiles and in some cases some programs are even incorporating um, replying and using LinkedIn as a conduit for the admissions process and so it's really important. I um, was reading recently and this was back in 2015 but 30 percent of admissions counselors across the spectrum look at people's social media. And so again, in terms of thinking about the social media um, outlet that is the most professional, it is LinkedIn. And so I think it's really important to have a presence on LinkedIn and also making sure that when you are updating your LinkedIn profile as part of your B-School application process, that you're making it most relevant to the people who are going to be looking at it, which would be admissions committees, alumni of those programs, students of those programs, and faculty from those programs as well. Sharon, how could a candidate go about showcasing their professional expertise on LinkedIn? I think it's important to sit down and make sure that you um, put together a list of your accomplishments, some of your unique traits that uh, might not otherwise come out of other social media outlets. Mm. Again, I think we keep talking about this, but it's so important to make sure that your values and your passions come across, and again, that can come across very nicely in a LinkedIn profile, particularly if you're putting it um, early on in your summary statement. But I also think it's really important to have things that are quantifiable, so if you can talk about um, things that you've done in your work experience that have increased productivity, have increased revenues, I think those are important things to share on your LinkedIn profile as well. And also any sort of awards or accolades that you have, um, either in the workplace or sometimes too it's appropriate to bring those things in if they were academically based as well. Yes, okay. And what about recommendations? Is it important to have some recommendations on, on LinkedIn? And, and what sort of recommendations should candidates take, seek? Well, given that you already have people who are going to provide recommendations for you for your business school applications, I think it's fair game to also ask them to provide LinkedIn recommendations as well. And I think that with recommendations, it's always important to have more up versus down recommendations. And what I mean by that is you definitely want to have recommendations from people who have supervised you in the work setting and or maybe people who have um, supervised you in some of your community service endeavors. I think it is okay though if for LinkedIn, not for your B-School applications, but in LinkedIn, if you do have maybe one or two recommendations from people um, with whom you've been on team projects with, um, it's not appropriate, again, for a business school to have people um, who've been in a subordinate position to you provide recommendations, but I think on LinkedIn, it's fine to do that, and if anything, it's also a nice way to show your well-roundedness and what your peers think about you. Yeah, absolutely. And what are your thoughts about how candidates can show their interest in a school? Um, should they connect to people who are members of the school community on LinkedIn? Should they follow school groups? How can they engage with the school community on, on LinkedIn? I think, yes, they should definitely um, connect with school communities. I know that admissions committees will be looking to see whether or not students have, prospective students have taken advantage of these different avenues for interaction. And also it's a great way to do some research on a program. Um, and I think that if you're going to different networking events and you're meeting members of those different B-School communities, meeting alumni, meeting current students, if they've given you the green light to go ahead and connect with them on LinkedIn, certainly do so. I would be a little bit cautious, though, about specifically reaching out to people um, through LinkedIn who you've not had a, uh, 
face-to-face -face or personal connection with while you're in the application process. I think once you become a member of that community, that opens you up even more so to uh, meet up with other people through LinkedIn. Right, okay. So any um, final tips on sort of do's and don'ts of um, tweaking your, your LinkedIn profile, uh, keeping in mind that you know, it could be an admissions file reader who's gonna be looking at that profile? I remember when um, social media was first coming around and we used to caution students, don't put anything out there that would um, be embarrassing to your grandparents. But I think we're even beyond the grandparents at this point. People who love you tend to be more forgiving. Um, if you think about it, admissions committee, I mean, one of the hardest parts of the position of being on an admissions committee is that you're scanning out um, more so than sometimes scanning in, so everything counts. And so you really need to make sure that the, um, the brand that you're putting out there is, is professional. I don't think, though, too, that you want to take out too much of your personality, but at the end of the day, when we are looking at your social media um, offerings, when we're looking at your Instagram or your Facebook or your LinkedIn profile, it's really a judgment check. Are you putting things out there that are appropriately reflective of who you are? And if we ask you to join our community, are you going to represent our community well? And I think that that's really, at the end of the day, what students need to think about when they are putting together their LinkedIn profile. Right. Yeah. And, and what are your thoughts, Sharon, on staying up to date on LinkedIn in terms of engaging and posting? Uh, you know, the candidates can just have sort of static profile where they have their, their um, you know, essentially like an online resume. But should they also be posting and engaging um, on a more sort of day to day ba basis on LinkedIn as well? Is that important, do you think, from an admissions perspective? I think any sort of self-promotion that you can do using LinkedIn to show that you really are passionate about a certain area, a certain topic, and again, that it's meshing with your business school applications is really valuable. And it can right. be time consuming. We know that you're busy. You're probably working full time. You're getting your MBA applications together. But I think that if you can put yourself out there as a subject matter expert, I think that that's going to help differentiate you in the process of people who just have sort of the static LinkedIn profile. Great. Excellent. All right. Thank you so much, Sharon, for sharing those insights. And thank you, everybody, for watching our video today. Please do check out our other videos on the Fortuna website and on our YouTube channel. Thank you. Bye-bye.